Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new playing at today with a game called Star Wars Battlefront 2 without the mini music because I would get an instant copyright strike and maybe more. This is the beta test, the open beta test you can play it right now. It's available until Monday, I think, of the multiplayer version of multi some multiplayer aspects of uh, and single player 2 of uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, the, the new one, the one that has unlockable crates that you get for stuff. Uh, running this uh, with, you may see an overlay over right now in the upper corner, I, I think. I'm not sure if uh, if Merlux actually captures it. But if you do, it's the, uh, the MSI Afterburner overlay because I activated this because th there was some hitching, like there's some frame stirring. It was kind of bizarre. It seemed to happen more in DirectX 12 than it did in 11. Also, I'm running this in DirectX 11 now because uh, the, uh, the capturing software sort of causes the game to not want to start even though it once did start with it active and it once worked with it activated partway through but now it just doesn't want so i'm gonna disable this for a moment but i put these on the same key so there that's that's gonna stay up there now i'm gonna show you a bit what it, what this game has to offer you got opus like controls where you can do the thing quite a lot depending on what you want uh, if uh, you want yeah you can set the um the controls for your characters for uh, robots for stuff individual things no credit list yet gameplay options uh Let's turn this off. Let's also turn the shadow log to be just a pop-up. Heads on display. Yeah, that should be active. What you won't be seeing here, sadly, is um, an option to turn on frame. Uh, oh, the ramic resolution is off. Why? Oh, I think that's the DirectX 12 thing, maybe? But it's in full screen, so who knows. Maybe it's got something to do with VSync also. Why is this off? Why can't I change my field of view? At least I could turn on the blur. This your resolution scale. If you want it to run better, just set it below 100%. It'll, it'll run at a lower resolution, but upscale it a bit so it still looks 1080p or whatever you want to run it on. Then you have the actual options. Um, for example, textures are ultra because I have 8 gigs of RAM. Texture filtering has to high. Lighting quality high. Uh, shadow quality, effects quality, post-processing. You cannot sadly turn off uh, the um, chromatic aberrations. You can see them sort of thrown here and around the edges and when this guy moves through. Uh, terrain quality. Uh, old, uh, let's switch terrain ground cover to high as well. Anti-aliasing. It's, it's got FXAA in uh, 3 version and then TA. TAA in my opinion, it looks looks horrid in motion. It, it it it's a temporal thing that uses sampling from several. But it looks horrible in motion. And they have an occlusions which I left on high. Uh, this is so I uh, I get a better frame rate because it's a multiplayer game with a lot of people playing at the same time. Depending on the situation you're in, you may notice a high degree of variation. I was getting anything between forty and seventy five frames a second while I was playing in. Uh, in big battles and it was kind of a janky thing but again that was uh on directly 12 and again I, I do think there was a sort of a jankiness to it in general the game's going to be available on the 13th of november if i'm not mistaken you can buy it now for a lot of money quite a lot of money you can get uh, the other battle battle uh, front 2 which is what five bucks right now on gog and it's it's, it's got a multiplayer now of its own uh independent and it's uh it's still got some problems but it works and it doesn't have these. It does not have crates. Let's open a crate. Specialist crate. Open. Let's see what we got. Also, you cannot turn off lens flares. Get used to them. This is a JJ Abrams thing. MVP select here. Okay. Oh, I. Did I get a new weapon? You find weapons in crates. Holy shit, this is an awful idea. Let's see, cooling power. You don't have uh you don't have only you have cooling because these are, you know, uh contrary to what other games in uh, the Star Wars canon have taught us, these actually use energy batteries that the replenish them that that they're basically last forever, but they, they need to be cooled. They don't have actual ammo. Let's see. This is better, so let's equip the one we just found in a crate because that's how things work now. And we have a card, yeah. We can equip these cards to give you certain um, 
improvements like a pistol firing single projectile that deals damage over time preventing the victims from generating health. Oh, let's equip this on our guy, on our dude. These sort of remind me of the um, the burner cards that you used to have in, uh, whatchamacallit, in Titanfall. I think pretty much every game has something like this now. It's what they mistake for uh, progression in content and, you know, uh, customization. And what do we have here? These are maybe holocrons, I believe. Interceptor cooling systems. Well, let's equip it now. Yes, let's equip a pistol to it. And they have different levels of quality, which... This is going to be an awful, awful, awful system, isn't it? It's, it literally gives people that get these drops better performance. Honestly, it doesn't really matter as much on account of the game. Well, you're going to see it in action soon, so don't, don't fret. I'm going to start out with uh, probably the more interesting, uh, well, not interesting, but the more probably fun mode. Or at least not horribly. We're going to play as... Well, who was I playing in the other one? Uh, oh, yeah, just some characters. We're going to be playing as Darth Maul right now. Going to be killing some... Um, some stor not stor the Republic Commandos on Naboo and the period of time where uh, where you were supposed to be fighting against the Separatists and, uh, and well Darth Maul's yeah he's from that age and he was there on Naboo yeah he was on Naboo but um, there were no clone troopers back then they appeared a couple of decades later Let's see abilities F. Darth Maul re leaps forward, executing a high-velocity saber attack, spin attack, okay. Darth Maul uses the force to choke his enemies before throwing them to the ground, okay. And Furious Throw. Darth Maul hurls his lightsaber, saber staff actually, it's not a lightsaber, it's two lightsabers if you will, damaging all the opponent's attacks, okay. Well, let's start with this one. Okay, was I in the floor just a second ago? Uh, the lens flares, I absolutely hate them. They are... Awful, 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 and you can disable them. Frame rate wise, it's at 76 right now, so it's not actually uh, doing what's supposed to be doing. The, the frame rate should have been locked at 75, but it's 76. So in this mode, you kill all of these guys until uh, they kill you. you. Gotta be careful to kill them first. And you have a limited time to do it. And you can use your powers and abilities, and they throw grenades randomly in the directions that you're not at all. So you can do this. If you're thinking, I said, wow, this is amazing. So th this is exactly one of those Jedi games, isn't it? Man, this is so cool. I wish they would make a game like this or just about this. Well, well, you're in luck then if that's what you believe and think right now because turns out there are games like this. They're called the Jedi Knight series. They are a billion times better than this. Like, look at this. Look at how he's jumping. When I jump back as a goddamn Jedi Sith or something, I want to do a cool flip. But I'm not doing a cool flip, am I? No, I'm not. And all of these are they're just instant win, press the button and now you win. Congratulations, there. There is no skill here. There is... This is just spam. Spam. And the game went slow motion when I said spam. Okay, let me let me try this again. Maybe, maybe he'll do a flip if I press control. When I, uh, when I do the thing. Maybe he'll do a flip then. Come on, do a flip, man. Do a flip, do a flip. Okay, start. No, he's not doing a flip. He can he can force jump quite high, but he can do a flip. In terms of accuracy of uh, you playing as a cool Jedi, this is this is honestly this is below the Force Unleashed, and the Force Unleashed was kind of crap in terms of being a Jedi game. I mean, you you didn't have a lightsaber; you have you had a rubber baton that barely grazed people. It was horrible. But it's an action game onto itself where it's not a Star Wars game. And if it didn't have those stupid quick time events, it could have been great. Could have been. Could have been. Wasn't. Really, really, really wasn't. So, we're going to kill a bunch of these guys again. Uh, okay, we're going to get killed by that uh, grenade. And maybe that guy is shooting at us. Wouldn't call the AI great, but there's a lot of them. And that's all that matters. Okay, skip. Now let's go into the meat of potatoes and we can actually use a different staff because why, why would we? I mean, it's not like it's important. Let's go into the meat of potatoes of the game, which would be 
Um, I'm gonna start out with the ground combat uh, mission. Uh, the one they showed at E3, the one that looked like crap. It still looks like crap, it still is crap. And then we're gonna shift at the end to, to the... Um, okay, no, this is a campaign. And shift at the end to the... Um, the star starfighter assault mode which is kind of it kind of makes you funny. well you know what remember when uh when, when they were making the actual third battlefront game uh when uh what was it not petroglyph uh, pandemic was making the third game in it actually what was pandemic no it wasn't pandemic it was uh the other guys um uh, the ones that made uh, Time Splitters. They were making the third one. That one looked awesome. This one doesn't. It's still kind of crap. Well, let's pick a specialist. We're going to be playing as a Roger Roger guy. And we're going to be fighting uh, Republic Commandos and Naboo. Okay, frame rate wise, I started at 60 instead. Oh boy, I started at 60 instead of 40. So, the, yeah, the turning it down a bit from Mortal Height did improve things and maybe even and that's the game in a nutshell folks you you spawn in an area that will get you killed and uh, you die it's uh, I don't know why it's waiting for a squad it doesn't really matter all that much it's uh, it's kind of imagine if you will Battlefield 1 but the version of it that's not actually good. Stand still, you goddamn varmint. Oh, I killed that guy at least. Look at him. Look at him jumping. Look at him jumping. Oh, that guy did a roll. At least he did something. Let's cool this down because it doesn't have ammo. Why would it? Can I actually get into this? I think I can get into it because it says it, it's got... Uh, what did I press? I pressed F by mistake. Okay, well, let's let's look through walls and see people and get shot in the face. I think you can actually get into that because uh, there uh, I've seen it shoot at me several times. Just let me spawn without a squad. It's it's not important. It's you you stop pretending you're that kind of game. You're not that kind of game. You wish you were that kind of game. My God, you wish. Okay, let's look in this general direction. There are usually some people running to the sides as you've seen before. There's one. I grazed them a bit. Not actually enough to damage them properly. Okay, now I got a cloak. I forgot that I got a cloak on this thing. Okay, so that, thing's far that thing fires by itself. I'm not involved in it. And there's enemies. And got a miss. Okay. Redeploying. Should probably pick another class like the Assault. It'll be more useful up close than uh, the inner guy. Okay, we have... Oh yeah, we have uh, we have fighters. Um, we have ships you can deploy in this mode. Uh, you know, you deploy into them directly and they're available for a very, very limited amount of time. Are those people running? <gasps> the Naboo has pelicans? Invulnerable pelicans that are kind of... Um, Oddly fluid and uh, they kind of look... Those people... Oh, they are running for cover! Yeah, run for cover, you goddamn Nebuians! Yeah, you know... <laughs> Come on, re reload. Uh, there, there's uh, there's one of the things that lets you reload faster if you click it at the right time because, you know, the game has no creativity. Let's try and uh, charge the enemy positions. I really hate the the the. It's got one of those uh, effects that darkens the uh, some areas of the screen. What's it called? Um, the vignette effect. I hear it. I hate chromatic aberrations too. Yes, they have disruptors. We know they're shooting using the shooter thing. Let's throw a grenade here. Hopefully that'll do something. Now let's try and actually see where the enemy is so I can shoot him. Probably not going to be uh, much success. Don't have won't have so much success here. And uh, yeah, they hit transport. I'm gonna go and try. Yeah, see at least uh, the direction where they're firing from is indicated. There's one of them. Burn, burn, die. 
You know, usually I die in like two hits, but they got they seem to be quite uh, quite resilient for some reason. Did one of my guys just die here? Oh, the one there has actually died. You don't have ammo. Everything's on a cooldown. Everything's reloading and unloading at a million. Okay, so I at least I kill at least I killed that guy. So it's it's sort of a, okay. I'm gonna get this thing. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the uh, the one that actually. Oh, we have a dark model. Gotta be honest, with you, I've never, I've never seen uh, the Republic actually do well. I've seen it win, but not do well. Okay, there they are. Let's be shooting these people. I actually should have probably check what abilities this thing has. For example, this. Come on. Yes, I killed that guy. Woohoo. Oh, I think that was the Etherburner. Let's see, where where is the enemy? Where is the enemy? Uh, how long do I have left? A couple of seconds maybe? No, I think I can actually use this for, uh, for a long time. Let's see, they're behind me. There they are. Okay, that that wasn't the thing I wanted to use. Where is the, where did it go? This is it going to tell me that I'm going to have to. No, it actually doesn't tell me to go back to the uh, missionary right now, which is a good thing. At least they did that right. Let's queue this away. And voila, you get a missile in the face. You get a missile in the face. Come on, get back here. Okay, we got a waypoint. Oh, damn it. That's bad. Stand still so I can shoot you faster. In the boo fighter. What in the fire? Uh, I lost the lock. So you can actually lock people. I mean, this is this isn't a game made for you to be in a starfighter. It's a shooter in, uh, in in the sky right now. It's a nice diversion from the normal gameplay modes. Not great, but it's it's a nice diversion. Come on, get higher. It'd be nice. If, oh god, damn it. Yeah, you can absolutely crash. Oopsie. Okay, let's skip that. Uh, let's pick... Uh, the officer has some abilities that are kind of pointless. Let's pick a heavy this time. Come on. Loading, loading, loading. Just spawn me already. We're all gonna die in five seconds anyway, so there's no point in you waiting. You have to defend... And there is... As I told you, see, people will... Sp they know where our spawn is and they'll camp it. And I have the same ability as he does, so it's not really that much of... Oh yeah, you can't accumulate the shield and the E in your main ability. See, you have to use them. Okay, I reloaded that faster. That was nice of him. Let's throw a grenade up there. Just in case. Anybody else in the direction? No. Am I alone again? Yes, I spawn with people. Yes, but they're gone. And... You pro can probably see some artifacting with uh, with lens flares. They need to remove the lens flares. They are just horrible. Lens flares are horrible, especially the J.J. Abrams ones. I know he made the last movie, or well, the other last movie. Sentry mode, by the way, is a time limited thing, so we can't actually use it uh, long term. Shoot them in the face, and it's gone. Can't even see where you guys are sh where they're shooting from with the disruptors. I think maybe here. Get back here. You done clone? Aha! Uh -huh. Didn't expect that, did he? Well, yeah, you are a clone, I forgot. The later ones weren't clones. The uh Republic uh the Empire things, guys. Okay, we need five thousand stuff for uh an actual um, hero. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a hero in this match. Switch to the scout. Okay, the F it's yeah, it blew up. Okay, let's see if we can switch sides this time. First, I'm actually seeing this thing destroyed. That's cool. Okay, let's see if we switch sides so I can show you how the battle progresses from the other side. Vague, mostly it progresses vague. 
Let's see, three kill streaks. The only three kill streaks. That's actually not that much. And we we see we did have the best player and he did a lot of things, but uh, ultimately our our cause was uh, hampered by the fact that we all lost. And it's gonna take a minute before the thing actually. Will, it'll probably be faster to just cancel out of this and uh, find a new match than it is to actually wait and wait and wait. Why is there such a long waiting period? I don't know. No, oh, we gotta spawn. Okay. So we start with the specialist. Um, start as. Let's view our abilities. We have infiltration. Go behind enemy lines, become unthinkable to enemy scanners, marking enemies, and equipping the powerful medium range weapon. Okay. Stinger, a pistol. The stinger is that it deals uh, damage over time, preventing the enemies. Okay, that's the thing I equipped. Thermal binoculars. Digital. Um, um, micro binoculars capable of uncovering heat. Okay, so I can see them to walls. I basically have wall hack. So the specialist in a couple of seconds. Now, it may seem like I come a bit mean to this game, like I'm a bit rough on it, but you gotta understand, the, the older games, they did everything better. Any older game did everything better. Battlefront 2 did everything better. Battlefront 1 did everything better. In terms of playing as a Jedi and running around and killing stuff, Jedi Academy, Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast, The Force Unleashed, they did those things better. A lot better. And this one doesn't. It's... It's not that good of a game. Okay, we spawn. Thankful. See, we all spawn in a straight line right now. Which means that uh, we can do stuff like this. See? I'm not even aiming! I'm just randomly shooting them. And they were dying. That's not how you... I can't even see them! I have... I, I can barely see where they are, and I'm still doing damage to them and killing them. See? That guy's just a stick on the horizon and I'm, sh I'm shooting him. That, this is a horrible map! Terrible! Objectively horrid map! I just spawn killed those guys. How is that fun for anyone? It's not fun for me because there is there is no challenge, there's there's no there's just me being a dick. And I can be a dick by complaining about other games too, so why just this one? Let's switch to the pistol and do damage over time. Come on, do them do more damage over time, more damage, more time. Oh that's a grenade. Let's go indivisible. I'm, I'm scanners, I mean, we can't. We can't. We're not. I hate the darkening effect of the screen. It's it's just annoying. Also, I got an assist for the guy um, I damaged over time earlier. Also, hear them Roger Rogering around here. And that thing actually lasts a lot less than I thought it would. See, all your abilities, most of them are, are, are just time based. There's no ammo associated with them. Uh, this thing, I'm going to use it right now. It's. it's Honestly, it's kind of worthless. You don't pilot it, it just runs around in circles. You just sort of look down and uh, hope you see some twigs below and shoot them. Can we see any twigs below? No, I can't see pretty much anyone in my area. I should probably check the abilities that this thing has. Also, it's, it's limited by time, so, uh, you know. Okay, there's, there's an actual thing there. Can I shoot it down? No, that's actually one of ours. Missile disruption, yay. Uh, heat sink. I don't know, did I do something? Can I press F1 to see what things do? No, I can't press F1, this is an overwatch. Okay, I heal myself, it doesn't really matter because there's no one shooting at me. And I can't control this at all, it's... Just spinning around and around and around and around in a circle. Why did you make this? The, this, this ship, this thing, it's... And it's it just fires. It's it's not fun. It's not engaging to me or to the people I'm shooting at. What are they gonna do? How are they gonna develop themselves? They can't. Well, they probably shoot me with a grenade with a rocket launcher, but I don't think they have them yet. Okay, let's uh, go into stealth mode again. Okay, to be fair, I was kind of far away from my spawn point right there, so yeah, there's there's that. 
The uh, the officer gives the as you seen health boosts and the heavy has the shield, and the assault just assaults things. He's very assaultive in that way. Okay, I pressed F. Okay, there is everybody. Can I actually mark them? No, I. You can. I don't think you can mark people on the map with Q because Q is your ability. We just could mark people on the map, you know, so it would actually be a squad thing and, you know, show people objectives where to go, give commands. We can switch things, but you can't actually issue commands via some wheel of commands. Like, like this was actually a squad game. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them, kill them. Okay, I'm going to deactivate this and try and shoot him in the face. Uh, by equipping that pistol, I actually uh, gave up on my grenade, which could have been useful right now. Did I get shot in the back? Yes, I did. Most of the time you'll be shot in the back. You'll have no idea why, how, where, from, but you will. It's, uh, unless you get shot in the front, like I did with those guys earlier. Okay, so that thing is at uh, this point. It's uh, progressing, so that's not a good thing. Take out the M the MTT. We're gonna have to get some disruptors to actually take that out. Pick up a disruptor. Okay, there's a guy running there. Probably gonna yeah, there they are. Oh, by the way, most weapons are excellent for sniping, so they can pretty much just snipe me from uh, any distance, like they were a super sniper themselves, even though they're just an assault. Die already. Come on, Mr. Roger, Roger. Yeah. I've only got any kill assists, though, so I'm not really doing all that hot. There's a Roger, Roger. Probably shouldn't get extra damage for doing headshots on these guys because they, their head doesn't actually do much. I mean, they replace their head. What of their... See? Pure accuracy. They In the movie, they replaced uh, the head of one of these guys with, uh, with C-3PO and uh, it didn't matter. It was still running. Can be Chewbacca if I get 3,000 or uh, a jet trooper. Cool. A jet trooper would be nice. Okay, I'm going to get an assault so I can be more uh, more offensive. And after, after we finish this, I'm going to go to the, uh, the other mode. This mode isn't fun. Like, maybe it's the map itself that's so crappy. Just push a thing. It's push... It's it's like a payload made by people that don't understand what payload is fun. I'm like, where the hell was that guy? Did I get killed by... How did I kill by... Does this ever have a kill cam? No, it doesn't. I have no idea how I got killed. So I don't know where the uh, the melee weapon is, the melee attack. I did not bind it to anything currently. Okay, we're falling back to the palace, meaning we're gonna get spawn killed quite a lot. That's usually how it happens. I'm gonna go try and get an online disruptor and uh, plug that thing full of holes. Uh, there it is. No, 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 that G. Press G. Okay, got the G. The G Mon. Out of range. Okay, gotta get in the range. Oh, it's gotta lock the objective. Yes, I shot it in the face once. At least I did it. I did my job. I sniped that thing with the iron thing. Come on, loading, 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 loading. I'm gonna try and see if I can flank that that sniper guy that shot me in the face. Also, keep an eye out for areas that you cannot go to because uh, the game does have quite a lot of them. Come on, die already. Okay, you're dead. You are dead. Where's the other guy? Oh, you're a heavy guy. Well, not anymore. You're a dead guy. I don't know what I did. Where the guys? Where did I get shot from? I think he may have thrown a grenade at me. Maybe that's uh, that's what happened. Okay, reinforcements available. Let's uh, spawn again. I can spawn as nah. Still not. I'm gonna save my money for uh, I don't know maybe a hero. So I can humiliate people. Okay, let's try this again. 
Like I said, I'm going to try and go and flank these guys and maybe get to one of those pickups. People are probably not playing the, the objective for the most part. There, uh, there doesn't seem to be that much of incentive to do so. I mean, with the game actually telling them to do so. And I got hit by a... Uh, I got hit by the main weapon, even though I was behind cover, and uh, that's kind of odd. Really odd. So I'm gonna pick the specialist again, just so I can snipe people from a safer-ish distance. Oh, yeah, they, the, uh, they, they, they got the the thing to the thing, and now they're in the palace, basically. Which is not a good place to uh, to have a, um, a ranged dude. You know, I have to keep uh, those two things safe. Let's go here. And keep this thing... Oh my god, there's there everywhere. There, 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 yeah. If only there was a way to tell my people to, hey, defend the point. Please defend the point, but there isn't. There isn't, so let's equip a heavy. Maybe use our machine guns to kill them effectively. Okay, east or controls. Where is the east or controls? It's in the east. Where is... Where is... Oh, there it is. Let's go through here. Yeah, I'm moving slowly, but I'm moving. Get on the point. Okay, the point is actually far away than I thought it would be. So I kind of deployed this for nothing all the way up here. It's actually this way. And I uh, got killed. Oh yeah. Um, once the enemy hero appears, you do not play anymore. You're... You don't have a chance. Like, it, none. You're dead. It's... It's, in, it's press X to win. It's... There, there's no point. There's no... No, absolutely no point. There's a hundred people. Wow, I think I don't know what that thing actually is. Okay, where's the objective? This is the objective. Are they coming from that direction? We have to hold this place, right? Okay, we have to hold the thing behind us, actually. And it ran out because I... Because they couldn't find a way to actually balance this stuff, so they put it on timers. Imagine if, as a heavy, you couldn't in Team Fortress you couldn't use your weapon, Natasha, anytime you wanted because it was on a timer. And I'd wait for it to reload and load and reload. And there's Dart Goddamn Mall again. Where'd that guy go? Oh my God! There's a lot of them. And I exploded from a grenade. I guess they got a kill. Skip. Still not enough for a hero. I'm saving enough. I'm gonna save enough to at least get Chewy. The Wookiee Bowcaster should do some damage, hopefully. Oh, come on with your spawn times already. You know they're. Oh, yeah, we're gonna die. We are gonna die. Maybe if I can get them there fast enough and throw a grenade at them. And I got killed from behind because, you know, I spawned with a squad, a squad and none of them were behind me. That's how this game works. Okay, skip. Spawn as the Wookiee. Spawn as the Wookiee. Let's see, uh, abilities. Frenzy, Thermal Detonator, and Fortify. Okay, start. At least... So you can't see your abilities while this thing is loading. Why? Oh, we also have Ray. Okay, so we've got the Wookiee and the Ray and we lost. Yeah. Thanks for the spawn time. It, uh, yeah. It's a crappy game mode. And the mechanics of it are kind of crappy. It's... It's like they took what was the idea of the previous game and... Had no idea what to do with it. I mean, look at this guy, like... See? You, you can't understand. Once you get the hero, if you get enough points to get the hero, you win. That's it. Wait until it's close quarters combat, get the hero, win. What this? 
And we're gonna try out the uh, the other mode, which doesn't have the hero, so it doesn't have uh, the same problem. Okay, loading the starfight mode. Man, remember we can you could go into ships and then grab your your starfighter and go out and shoot people there. If only technology had advanced to the point where we could do that again, but that is lost technology. We need the will of the Emperor to divine its uh, its mysteries, don't we? We need a forge world. It's uh, it, it, we need a hologram probably locked within a within a hologram somewhere. There's there's the information of how you can actually make that game mode, or you know maybe in uh, Unreal Tournament 2004. It had this, like you could you could combine fighting on the ground and in the air at the same time in a single place. Let's go with a bomber. If it'll load, it won't actually load. It's got a starting timer. Let's at least look at the abilities of the things. Your target lock. When activated, you cannot use uh, lose your target, which is good. Afterburner, concussion missile, fighter, uh, laser barrage. Afterburner and proton missile, proton torpedo, pardon, and the bomb, 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 bomber. Dual proton torpedo is fired two missiles simultaneously, which uh, track the lock target and deal high damage and uh, instantly lock up to three enemies and fire three missiles. Okay, which is good. Electronic countermeasures break lock, which is, yeah, it's okay. Okay, so let's uh, start with the bomber and bomb, 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 ran. Now, the objective is to kill everybody else. See those little dots? We're gonna have to go to them and kill them. It's sort of like a worse version of um, Warfighter, um, not Warfighter, World of Warplanes or uh, War Thunder. Die! Yes, I killed one. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a, it's an X-wing. It's gonna be an XX wing soon. <laughs> I made a funny. Probably no one made a joke before today. Come on, keep on target. Fire, fire! Why didn't it fire? Did it fire? I think it fired. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, it did fire. It did fire, it just took some time to actually lock onto the guy. Okay, F. Fire, did it fire? I don't know. Okay, we have some, uh, yeah. Y wings, they're they're player, they're NPC controlled Y wings, so we're gonna have to take them down, and we got shut down because I was running in a straight line, which is a bad idea. And also had two lasers in the defensive grounds and something, something, something. There, at least there's no actual interesting things you can spawn in at uh, this point. There's slave one, but god damn it, is it a boring ship? People that make Boba Fett to be out a big make Boba Fett out to be a big deal are kind of what's wrong with with Star Trek. I mean, Star Wars, same thing, when I break it down out to it. Okay. Fire! Yes, I know they didn't shoot the track round. I'm gonna try and stop them now. Oh, he tried to do a dodge thing. I saved somebody. There's a guy in front of me. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, I killed that guy too. No, we mustn't, we mustn't, but, you know, stuff happens. Oh, I got, I got, I got a bit too cocky and just slammed in that thing. Let's try this again. Let's try an interceptor this time and intercept things. Okay. We got an afterburner. Let's afterburn. And... Yes, it blew up. It blew. It's okay. It blew up. It blew up. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, I, I should not be able to lose them now. Yeah, I can still see them everywhere they are, and they're kind of faster than me, slower than me, so I'm actually in a disadvantage right now. Where are? Where? Okay, I can't. There, there is. Come on. Let it, okay, it died. It died, and we lost a cruiser. Which is kind of sad. I was kind of busy shooting at these guys and uh, got distracted. And yeah, I got blown up again. 
ships have different kind of speeds and you can't really you can't set the throttle which makes this uh, kind of a, um, a worse version of every X-Wing game and TIE Fighter game ever but hey it's at least it's it's not the ground thing it's better than the ground thing uh, we have the shield generator to defend now okay higher come on die already why don't you die why did I die at all? Well, I didn't. Did, was it taking damage? Not sure. Okay, let's try it with this thing again. The show's already up to 40 minutes, so I'm sorry for the length, but hey, I'm trying to give you as much of a coverage of uh, this mode as possible. Performance is at least good in space. I mean, it's in space, and also it is like six degrees of freedom with the limited uh, throttle control. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Okay, I, I missed that thing. I missed that thing. That that was kind of my fault. Forgot what he did. Thought he was a missile. It wasn't. I'm going to show you some 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 flying with... Uh, the, the, this map is at least a bit creative because you can go into different places and... There's these crevasses here, like you can't go inside. You can't go inside, there, there isn't that much reason. I think the enemy may have a reason to go inside and blow some things, but I haven't actually seen them. Wait, we do have to defend these, so yeah. They do have a reason to be here. We, uh, we're not so much because it's kind of it's kind of difficult to maneuver in there. So it's, it's better for us to just stay outside, otherwise we will get blown up and it's better to kill them before they get in. Come on, I pressed... No, that's F. That's F. One should generate right away. Come on. Did I kill them? I don't know. Did it fire? Yes, it fired. Okay, finally got one more kill. No, just an assist. Just an assist. Okay, so let's go back down here and try and save the generators. Trying, trying to save them, doing my best. Do we see anybody else? Well, there, is, there are these two guys doing kind of the same thing. Okay, kill assist there. Let's go back. You know, a mini map would have actually been useful in this mode, you know, a, a 3D surround map like you see in every kind of fighting game, you know, since Sing Swing Commander and, you know, the original XCOM. X-Wing, pardon. Did I say XCOM last time too? No, it's it's X-Wing. X-Wing and TIE Fighter. Out of range. Got that guy. And here they come. Let's raise the rhythm. And raise it a bit too much. Oh, it's the Wee Wings. The Wee Wee Wings. Don't crash into me, dude! Come on. Trying to not fail. Trying to not fail. Okay, got that. So the speed just went down in that area by itself. I wasn't the way the guy had slowed down. Okay, we lost, uh, we lost respawn points. A lot of them. Okay, I blew up there. Oh, we actually won. Cool. So, we have that. Uh, let's see if I can do maybe a few more, a few minutes of the, well, no. Yeah, okay, a few minutes so I can show you the X-Wing. Do. Let's see, who was the MVP? That guy. Oh, he, he spawned. And he lost. And they had the best guys and they lost. Well, that just goes to show you. It doesn't matter if you're good. It uh, matters if you play the objective and hope everybody else does because if nobody else does, it's it's kind of horrible. I mean, you do spawn as a squad, but you have no means of communication with them directly. I mean, you probably have voice chat, which is not something you want to use in a multiplayer game. And they're kind of tend to be horrible. Okay, defenseless, horrible. Got it. 
Okay, this will be the X-Wing, the T-65B X-Wing, the RZ-1A-Wing, the BTL-A4 Y-Wing. Man, I remember when I first saw the Y-Wing in the in X-Wing. It was so cool. It, it fired ion disruptors and had the... I think it had different type of torpedoes, too. It was a cool thing, a very cool thing. And this one is the Millennium Falcon, or as... Uh, Poe's T-70 X-Wing? Poe? <laughs> really? Poe Dameron? Really? Really? <sighs> that fan fiction of a new series of films is kind of grating on my nerves, you know? Especially the, the, the Rogue One one. Like they, they just whitewashed Kyle Katarns and Jan Orsa's story. Like, they could have had... Okay, if they made a focus on Jan Orsa, okay, have her be played by an actual Asian... I think she was of Japanese descent. Yeah, Japanese descent American actress. But no, they, they made just some movie with another white bread, identical-looking honky. <laughs> that, that's a reference to what the joke from... Um, oh, God, I'm not going to die here. From a Red Letter Media. Yeah, this thing with their whitewashing. Let's attack the Imperial Crew. So, you got a lot more stuff to do as the attackers. Let's offend. F. No, F doesn't do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, we have more stuff to do as the... Uh... Come on. Lock S foils. Defend. Prepare. Incoming missile. I'm gonna dodge it, I'm gonna dodge it, I'm gonna dodge it. See, I'm dodging things. Missile lock on, well, not for long. See, I dodged it. I'm good at this. I'm gonna crash into the ship, aren't I? Probably. Okay, let's actually do an objective now. And, uh, oh, goddammit. And I got blown up. That guy was very persistent. Very precise. Okay, let's try the interceptor too. Let's try an interceptor. Okay. We're gonna have to blow up some things, which is gonna be nice. Uh, range. Uh, I'll press E. Aha! Aha! I'm shooting you now. I'm after burning by besides you. It's kind of nice they can actually target parts of these giant ships and not just... Uh, oh, we have to defend ours and kill theirs. Yeah, that, that actually makes sense. Trying to break out their missiles, their thingamabobs, their, uh, their defenses. Well, at least the, the, um, the clutter of like multiple capital ships engaging and being like in a very, very tight quarter, that's actually kind of fun. But other than that, it's... Uh, it's eh. Very, very eh. Come on. Shoot it. Shoot it with an F. Why won't you F and shoot it? Come on. Dodge, roll, heave, ho. And it blow up, I think. Fire. Good. Engage Jamie and wait for her. So there's a there's a dead time when you just do nothing for a while until the next wave comes along and we have to defend it and kill it and stuff. I'm gonna go after that guy. Seems like an asshole. I'm gonna shoot him. Die. Yes. I don't know if he's dead. No, he's not dead yet. I need a dual one for a uh, let's let's lock onto the guy. Ah, oh, he died. Stole my kill. Well, for all for the Empire and stuff. I mean the the Re Republic Rebellion or something. I wonder if they if they make up their mind in the next uh, Star Wars movie if it's a rebellion or republic or a resistance. Come on, shoot higher, shoot higher. Oh, thank you for going inside and making it easier for me. 
And goodbye. Oh, one more. Oh, thank you for... Oh, God damn it! Just when the standing still, he blew up. At least this, this part is actually fun. Like, properly fun. It's not great, it's not X-Wing, it's not TIE Fighter, it's not even... Okay, it, it is better than Wing, than the Wing Commander 1, maybe, at least. It's more advanced. Okay, shield generator. Let's do some uh, some runs inside in the uh, the hangar bays and stuff and kill things. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Ah, uh, oh, damn it, I did not fit. I did not fit between there. I thought I'd be able to fit, but no, I, I messed up. Can I pick another one? No, I can't pick another one. I'm going to pick the uh, the bomber and see if I can use it against the shield generator. At least that's, that's how they were used. I mean, the Ryan disruptors would uh, would pull, would do well against the shield generators. I think. Zoom in. Okay, let's start a bombing run. Oh, there's a there. That's one of our guys actually. Let's go inside. Slow down a bit. Oh, it's actually behind the thing. Okay, so I'm. Oh, god damn it! I think I was shooting. Come on, come on, come on. Climbing up. Going down. Resetting the setting. What are you doing to do? Okay, oh, okay, damn it. Yeah, yeah, again, my fault, but at least I did some damage. <sighs> yeah, maybe the interceptor would. Fighter, Interceptor. Yeah, I'll, I'll, let's do a trench run, like in the movie. 51 minutes, yeah, this is going to be the last thing I'm going to do, uh, because it's already kind of a big show. No, wait, I actually want to see if I can go in down there. Is there a shield protecting that stuff? No, yeah, there's a shield. I can't actually go in there. There is over trolley control, but it's... It's not fine. You don't even see the trowel. It's it's not real specifically built for this to be to seem like a simulator or something like that. Come on, playing the objective. Oh, there's a guy. Gonna find a guy. You shoot me. I shoot you. That's not very nice, is it? I fired him. Come on, come on. Okay. Crash into that thing, the platform. Again, my fault. Still, it's a nice mode. I, I like the fact that you can move 360 degrees in every direction. That's uh, more than what I was hoping for, which is nice. So I'm going to be back soon with a new play now of, uh, of an indie game. A very indie game made by one person. And uh, I, th I think it's going to be tomorrow. I think. I'm not sure. Maybe it's going to... I'm hoping it's going to be tomorrow. Hopefully. It's... Uh, I don't think the, the, the build I'm playing is, is actually done, so it'll probably be tomorrow. We're gonna see you again soon with uh, new games, new shows and new other stuff. Remember that we do have shows constantly, so uh, stick around and watch them if you like. If not, you can send threats to us at um, topgear at nbc.com. No, no, that's co-uk. Yeah, that's, that's our email address. So, uh, goodbye. Have a nice day. Nicer than my chip just had.